Hello and welcome to my Manga Collection 2020. As of yesterday, it has been a year since I last did one, so it's time to do another one. Isn't that right, Bartie? Yeah, I'm up here, by the way. Yeah, Bartie will be staying up there, so she won't be walking around with me. Yeah, I'm staying here, it's more convenient. Anyway, I currently have somewhere over 800 volumes. I don't know exactly the number. This is the more. I do an overview, and yeah, let's get started. Don't want this intro to take too long after all. First up, if we go behind the polar bear down here, I have some stuff. Let's move the polar bear. Down here, I have like miscellaneous kind of art box and stuff. This is terrible lighting. So I have a couple of like, I'll pull them out so you can see, a couple of Otaku USA magazines, this is an Okami art book, it won't be this dark during the rest of the collection, it's just down in this corner, anyway, this is a um, Danganronpa 1-2 Reroad art book. This is a Token Rambu art book. I'll put these back later. These I can't take some out because some of them are holding up the shelf, but this is like Cora X Maris, Amnesia Rater, and Code Rewise Future Blessings. These are all my Otome games. I can't take this is Junji Eater's Twisted Visions, but I can't take that out because it's holding up the shelf. Next to that is a Junja Romantica art book. Next to that is the art of Fushigi Yugi. And I have the art of Given. Then these are just like, this is the Kingdom Hearts 2.300. Kingdom Hearts 2. 365 days over two um, game guide. This is a book on paper craft. This is a drawing chubbies. This is a draw your own manga book. This is a Pokemon pocket guide. This is the anime encyclopedia for advised edition. It's an encyclopedia of all the anime that was out at the time. These are two Scotland Rubs anime like books from Comic Con. That's the MCM Comic Con guide. This is a yokai attack, which is just a book on yokai, and they're just postcards of Yuri on Ice and Hatsune Miku. Anyway, that's all for the adult corner. I'll put those back later. As you get into the actual manga, which is slightly lighter, and I'm gonna have to stretch to this top shelf. Okay, so. I'll try and hold the camera so you can see. This first one here is Noragami, volumes 1 to 21, up to date. Love Noragami, it's fantastic. If you don't know what Noragami is about, it's about Yato, who is a um, god of... Like, he's a god, but he's not a very well-known one, so he goes around repeating people's wishes for, like, five yen and stuff. And he meets Hiori one day and she becomes like half Ayakashi and she he has to like solve her problem. But he says he'll get around to it eventually. It's very good. Next to that I have Arrive, The Final Evolution, which is a series that Adachi Toki, who wrote Norgami, did the art to. It's only eight volumes in physical release, but the rest were released digitally. I can't I haven't got volume eight. Next up on the shelf, if I move this, I have Happy Marriage 1 to 10, one of my favourite Joseys. We have Only Cure a Case of Love 1 to 4 up to date, which is from the same author as Happy Marriage. I also have two new series there, Not Your Idol and Spy X Family Volume 1. Both great series that I would highly recommend. And up the top there, if I can stretch, is Takane Hana 1 to 3, that is not up to date. Anyway, onto a shelf where I can actually reach. 
I have the complete series of Fushigi Yugi 1 to 6 in these first big editions. Fushigi Yugi is a classic fantasy shoujo series that, if you like fantasy shoujo and you don't mind older stuff, give this one a go. It's about Miyaka, who is a girl who gets transported into a book of the called the Universe of the Four Gods and ends up in ancient China, which has to collect the seven celestial warriors of Suzaku so she can make a wish to return home. Oh, to God. On top of that, I have Alice in the Country of Hearts, which I bought you on Omnibus, which is based on an anime game, I think. I haven't read it in years. Then I have Sarah's Terrestrial Legend, Volumes 1 to 14, which is complete. Same author as um, Fushigigi, but it's by Yuwase. This is one of her darker series. It's about Sam Aya, who on her 16th birthday is taken to this party and does a do a ritual and she awakens as this person called Ceres and everyone in the family who awakens as Ceres has to be killed so but she runs away and trying to uncover the mysteries of this and stuff and it's really good. And then we have Imadoki 1 to 5 complete, also by you I should say. And this is another one of my favourites here, I have Bloody Monday. 1 to 11 complete, plus volume 4 in Japanese, because um, that volume was hard to find. I ordered it off of eBay, thinking it was in English. This is what came. So I ordered from a different seller and actually got volume 4, because volume 4 is out of print. And Bloody Monday is a, like, a thriller series about this hacker called Falcon, whose father works with this organisation rights, hunts down terrorists and stuff, but one day he is framed for a murder he didn't commit, and then Falcon has to prove his innocence whilst also tracking down these terrorists to stop this Bloody Monday massacre which they are planning. It's very good if you like thrillers, I would recommend this. On top of that, I have volume The Complete Omnibus of Dark Metro. This is a horror series with three volumes compiled into one omnibus about horror, by like episodic horror stories that all revolve around this guy and monsters that are in the Tokyo Metro, like the underground. Next shelf here. First up on top I have Orange, the complete set, 1, 2 and Future. Orange is very good. If you haven't, oh it's a classic shoujo, if you like shoujo basically Orange is something you have to read. Well, obviously Naho is this girl who receives a letter from her future self telling her to save her classmate and make and look after him and stuff so he she doesn't repeat the same mistake she did the first time around so you go give it a go there's another bit of a dark corner here but we have Kakariel bed and breakfast for spirits one to six this is up to date good like supernatural foodie shoujo series I have So Cute It Hurts 1 to 5. This is complete at 15 volumes. I need another 10. It's a just it's a shoujo series about a boy two twins, a boy and a girl, who take each other's places at their schools to like pass. He needs help passing his history test, so she dresses as him and goes to his old boys' school, and he dresses as her and goes to her school, and yeah, it's a it's a good series. Although I know we're not finishing it. Here we have another great fantasy shoujo. Dawn of the Arcana, 1 to 13 complete. Love Dawn of the Arcana, I would highly recommend this to people who like Yield of the Dawn, Prince Bay and stuff like that. It's a good one, but it doesn't seem to be as popular as other fantasy shoujos, and it really should be. It's about this girl called Nakaba, who is born with red hair and but she is like the niece of the king of one country, but all royals have to have black hair or else they're not considered royals. So she is wet, like shipped off to be wed to the king or the second prince of the neighbouring kingdom, Caesar. So she has to be shipped off to marry him. But she he's kind of horrible to her at first. But then she discovers she has this power to like see the past and the future and stuff, and it's very good. And we have the Water Dragon's Bride, 
Boys Want to Free. This is the, by the same author. I'm not up to date with this. This is for free and I think 11 volumes. These first three were good, but out of the two series, I do prefer Don't the Art Cop. Next up, I have a Silent Voice 1 to 7. Everybody knows what this is. Very good series. I recommend it. And then we have Yoshitoki Oima's other work, the To Your Turn, C1 to 12. This is up to date. Again, most people know what this is. It's well known and also definitely worth reading. I have High School Debut, Omnibus 1 and Omnibus 2. So the first six volumes. I enjoy this one. I think there's five Omnibuses in total. And I have Dazzle Volumes 1 and 2, which is like an old Tokyo Pop Shoujo, like adventure series. At that point, I found these in a shop that was selling some used manga. It has an anime too. Down here to the next shelf. It's a bit dark again. Up on top here, I have Perfect World 1 and 2. That's currently up to date. It's a Jose series about a girl dating a guy in a wheelchair and the issues that come along with that. And I have A Polar Bear in Love, Volume 1. I think this is completed four volumes. This is the cute series about a polar bear who falls for a seal. It's a bit dark in this corner. That's probably getting close to the floor. And then I have Little Miss P and Little Miss P The Second Day, which are short stories about a anthropomorphic Amphomorphic period. Again. Good. I have the Inuyasha Profiles book. Then I have Inuyasha on the buses 1, 2, three, behind the pop figures. 1 to 8. My favourite series ever. We'll get round to getting all 16 eventually, but I love Inuyasha. It's it's a classic. It's fantastic. And I have some more by Rumiko Takahashi here. I have it's a Yatsura Volume 1. I don't plan on getting any more of this. I have Rene 1 to 6 and Van Hove Omnibuses 1 and 2. And then I have Kiss of the Rose Princess Volumes 1 to 4, but why is 4 in the wrong place? Volumes 1 to 4. This is a it's not the best shoujo, it, this plot's kind of all over the place, but I still really enjoy it. It's by the same author who did the Demon Prince of Monochi House, which I have what it's wanted to here. And he's my only vampire, which I have volume one of that up here. Also Spirit Circle volume one, which I really love. It's, I need to get more of this, I think it's seven volumes. Then I have Snow White with the Red Hair, one to nine. Up to date. This is a slice of life political fantasy. It's good. I have To the Abandoned Sacred Beasts Volume 1 and Sacrifice of Princess and the King of Beasts 1 and 2. I'm looking for Volume 3. I can't find it. Has it gone out of print? I don't know, but I really love this. It's another fantasy show, Joe. Down here. The only series on my shelf that I haven't actually finished reading yet. Hannah Kimmy 1 to 23. I've read 1 to 9, I think. It's a series about a girl who wants to meet her idol who goes to this all boys school. So she dresses up as a boy and enrolls in the school and has to keep her secret that she is a girl from the whole school. Next up, I have Elf and Reed Omnibuses 1 to 3. This is. Volume 4 is out. It's not in the collection yet, but I do like Elven Reed, it's like a dark horror kind of comedy sometimes-ish series. And then I have Danganronpa, the animation volume 1. I need to get the rest, I love Danganronpa, it's one of my favourite games. Dean Angel 1 to 3, no one here up to date with this, but I think it was cancelled anyway, definitely in English. Erase 1 and 2, haven't got up to date with this yet either, still need to get the rest of this, I love the, I love the anime though, 
And then his other series of the kid I saw in my dream. If you like to raise, give this one a go. It's a mystery about a guy who's working for the person who killed his twin brother when they were kids, who then they could like see through each other's eyes and stuff. Anyway, we can move on to this bottom shelf, it's kind of dark again, but if you, and also the spines are black, so that makes it more difficult too. But I have Blackbird 1 to 18, if you can see there. Yes, you do. That's a completed series, by the way. It's a good show, Joe, if you like, like supernatural stuff. Moving on. Best fantasy show, Joe, ever. You're at the dawn, one to 25. This is up to date. This is a long series. It's going to continue to be a long series. I think there's like 35 volumes in Japan. But it's very good. I highly recommend Yon at the Dawn, even for people who don't like shoujo, because of just how good it is. And then up here I have The God's Lie, my one shot by Kao Yozaki, very good. And also The Golden Sheep, complete one to three. Another good series, it's like a teen drama. It's good, it's by the same author as this. And next up on this last shelf, I have The Grand Green Owl Orchestra Volume 1 by Kaori Yuki. I very love this and I like more, but it's out of print. And then next to that, if you can see, I have Code Breaker Volume 1, which was cancelled after two volumes, but I love the anime. Anyway, that's the first bookcase done. So, we'll be moving on in a minute to the second bookcase, this one here. Okay, here we have the top shelf of this bookcase, and right at the top there I have a horror series called Chibi Goldfish Warriors 1 to 3, which is about giant goldfish who like appear in Shibuya and start eating people. I'm not up to date with it yet, but it is good. It's weird though. I have Maiden Abyss 1 to 8, that is up to date. Love Maiden Abyss, love the anime. Check it out. Maybe check out the anime first. For the manga. Anyway, next I have a good horror series. Which is called Doubt, volumes 1 and 2, very good. Gonna try and do these top shelves very quickly because I have to reach up to them. Anyway, Doubt is a horror series about this game, like people play on their mobiles where they have to figure out which one of the people is the wolf among the rabbits. But anyway, they decide to have like an in real life meetup, and it turns out somebody who's planned for them to play the game in real life, they don't know who it is, so they're now actually in real life trying to find who is the killer among them. And like figure that out so they can escape. It's very good. Valfast one and two, not up to date yet, but it's very good. It's by the same author as this thing here, the Ancient Magus Bride. I have one, two, twelve, up to date, along with the fan book, the two supplements, the two anthologies, the Golden Yon and Sylveon, and then I also have Wizard Brew here. Next to that is the manga version of My Next Life is a Villainess, or Roots Read to Doom. It's about a girl who gets reincarnated into her favourite Otome game as the Villainess and has to try to stay alive. Run a merman in my tub 1 and 2. This is like a full coma series about a boy who finds a merman and brings him home and he starts living in the bath. And behind Axel here, you have um, 1, 2, um, we're up to date with the girl from the other side, so <laughs> whatever the rate is volume is. And the girl on the other side, both by Nagabe. Girl on the other side, very good. Very recommend it. And finally, if we get down to a shelf I can actually reach. I have Night of the Ice 1 to 3. This is up to date. It's about ice skating. I have. Secretly, I've been talking about being sexist, which is an anthology. No, it's not. It's an autobiography, along with I Don't Know How to Give Birth, which is another autobiography. And I also have this Hatsune Mix, which is both quite short stories. 
my absolute favourite Trojo series in existence, Moose Basket, complete 1 to 12 in the collector's editions, along with these little stones that came with the Brewerys. It's very, Fruits Basket is very good. It needs no introduction. Everybody knows what Fruits Basket is, and everybody should read Fruits Basket. It is excellent. It's, like, it's a mix of like drama and comedy and like dark themes, and it's just very good. I also have Fruits Basket's another one of three, which is a short sequel series, but it's not as good, but it's decent. A one shot comedy. My father's a unicorn. This was weird. I have Kaguya-sama Love is War 1 to 16, very good shounen series. It's about two people who are trying to get the other to confess their feelings first through like these mind games and stuff, it's very good. Down to this shelf here, and on this shelf here we have some random stuff, Angels of Death all you want. Ori Mia Volume 1, Nee Nee Nee, which is a short story, which is a one shot by the artist who did Ori Mia. Daily Rise of High School Boys and Carnival Volume 1. Just a bunch of Volume 1s, which I haven't yet continued. Children of the Whales 1 to 15, brilliant series. Probably the manga with the best art in my collection. The art of Children of the Whales is very, very good, especially the covers and the hands. Brilliant, I love Children of the Whales. It's a shoujo series that is about a group of people who live on a, this island called the Mud Whale and there's marked who have short lives and then there's the unmarked who have normal lives and the marked have these like psychic powers and they like don't know anything beyond their Mud Whale, they think that's like the entire world. And to one day they come across a girl on another island and that things start to change for them and they start to find out more about their past and everything fantastic. Beastmaster Volumes 1 and 2, this is complete by the author of Dengeki Daisy, which I have 1 to 16 complete, one of my favourites. Fantastic series, Dengeki Daisy, I would recommend it. Frog Kurosaki, who is a hacker, and Teru, who is, um, she, she lost her brother, and her brother, before he died, gave her a phone and asked her to contact Daisy if she ever needs anything. So she's got this phone where she rings Daisy, and obviously she's with Kurosaki, who is a hacker and the school janitor. She starts to like, get to know him and says he has like some secrets, but the plot twist at the beginning is pretty obvious. It's a very good series, though. This is her other series, QQ Sweeper 1 to 3, which is the like the prologue to Queen's Quality, which I have 1 to 9 here, which is up to date. This is another series by Kirishuke Motomi. I love this series too. This is a supernatural series about sweepers who go inside of people's mind vaults in order to clean out the bugs, which is causing them to have like bad thoughts and stuff, and have dark intentions, and they go clean those out. And Fumi is found at the school without any memories at all, and again, Q Kutaku takes her in as to train her to be like a Genbu sweeper. It's very good. And here's Maid Tama Omnibuses 1 and 2, so volumes 1 to 4. Still haven't <laughs> finished this one yet. Down here I have Requiem of the Rose King Volume 1. Don't know if I'm going to continue this, so I might give it another couple of volumes. I just don't like, like historical fantasy and stuff. Honeybird 1 or 2, this is a complete series about a vampire. Pandora Hearts 1 to 4, I wanted to get the box set of this, but I think it is now out of print. And then Vanitas, the case study of Vanitas 1 to 7, by the same author as Pandora Hearts, I think this is the superior series. I love this, it's like steampunk Paris, it's vampires. And there's the book of Vanitas, which like helps these vampires which have like turned into like curse breakers and lost control and there's this vampire called Noe who goes to Paris and meets this human called Vanitas who is the descendant or the adopted like descent Vanitas adopted him anyway to like carry on his name and he has the he hated his master 
and he has this book called the Book of Vanitas, which can be used to help these vampires. That's the original Vanitas cursed. It's very really good. Record of a Fallen Vampire, 1 to 9 complete, by Kyoshi Odaya. This is a kind of weird series, but very, very brilliant series at the same time. About a vampire who's looking for his wife, who was sealed inside of one of these crosses, which is in place all over the land, and one of them has her in, and all the other ones are fake, so she, he's going out looking for her. And there's also this entity called the Black Swan, who gets stronger every generation, who is trying to stop him. But there is more of that this series than that. Spiral 1 and 2, same author, haven't got round to getting more yet, but I enjoyed these first two. Inspector, again, Shikyo Shirodaya, same author, 1 to 12, up to date. This is probably his most well known series at the minute, Shikyo Shirodaya. So if you like this, maybe go check out these two other series that he's done. Inspector's very really good. So, Supernatural mystery series about this little girl who when she was 11 she was taken and asked to become the yokai's god of wisdom so she can solve their problems she agrees she loses a reg and an eye as a symbol of being the god of wisdom and then when she later on and she's older like she's 19 now i think she goes around with kuro who is a human who consumed the meats of two different yokai and has become a mortal She's going out with him and she's like solving yokai problems but also human problems which involve yokai and it's just very good. Another very good series, Monthly Girls and Ozaki Clan, 1 to 11, up to date. Love this, great comedy. It's a shonen but it's kind of shoujo y shonen. It takes the piss out of shoujo basically. You have Nozaki who is a shoujo manga author and Chio who is in love with him and tries to ask him out one day, but he ends up mistaking her for a fan and giving her an autograph, and then she starts working as an assistant to him on his shoujo manga and trying to keep it a secret from the rest of the school, uh, except the other people who know, obviously, and... Very oh, good. My absolute favourite comedy, and it's excellent. This is Fiancé of the Wizard. It was kind of mediocre. It's a... Isekai that didn't need to be an Isekai. Then Osama Teacher 1 2, same author as like Izumi Tsubaki, same author as this. It's another good comedy series, although I'm not very far into it yet. But this woman writes good comedy. At least I think it's a woman. Anyway, going down, we have this shelf here. I have Komomo Confessory 1 to 3, which is completed in 5 volumes. It's by the same author as Voice Over Seiyu Academy and Special A, which I got, which is on the floor. Which I also have. I like the anime of Special A, that's why I got this. And here we have Stupid Love Comedy, it's a three in one of us, it's a shoujo series about writing shoujo manga. And it sells at work, one to five, up to date, and sells at work, one to five. It sells at work, black, one to five, up to date, both good series about the human body and the anthropomorphic cells. I prefer, I prefer black over the original. Asteroids in Space, one to five, complete. It's a like sci-fi space series about these students who go on a trip to another planet for their school trip but end up getting lost because it turns out somebody among them is trying to kill them for some reason. Very good. Very good series. <laughs> Watch the anime too, it covers the entire thing. Catapult Girl and Bad Texter Boy, which is like a one-shot, which I really enjoyed, about this girl who fancies this boy, but he rejects her, so she's just saying that she is too perfect for him. So she then goes and makes a bargain with this, like, god or creature or whatever it is, and turns her into the caterpillar and then goes back to him and he feels bad for her and decides to, like, take help her out and stuff. 
It's not a happy one shot. The ending is kind of bittersweet, but I really enjoyed it. Next up, another one of my absolute favourite series. We have Ribe Wars 1 to 15 complete. This is fantastic. It has an anime too, but it's not as good. Ribe Wars is about Iku, who is, when she was in, when I think she was 14, was buying a book in a bookstore, but in this world of Ribe Wars, books are banned or heavily censored when they have inappropriate content, which the government decides they people shouldn't see and so she's trying to buy this book of fairy tales which the government has put on the banned list and then she is rescued by this man who is a member of the library task force which is a group of people who are fighting against this group like this government group i've forgotten what they're called to like stop censorship and they take all the books they can to this library but anyone's free to come and go and read any book they want completely uncensored and unchanged it's their job to like make sure that the it, the, the media betterment committee that's what they're called they, it's their job to make sure that the media betterment committee doesn't get their hands on these books so people can read them as they were meant to be read and EQ is inspired by this so she decides to join the Ivy Tax Force when she's older and it's a very good series I would highly recommend it it's an underrated series that not many people read and it's so good. Round at the Blindfolded 1 to 9 completes. This is an old CMX manga about a girl who can see the future and a boy who can see the past. And it's it's a, it's a decent series. You can tell it's old though. Then we have Imperfect Girl 1 to 3. This is based on a Nisho Ishin novel. The guy who wrote the Monogatari series. It's a, it's a interesting read about a man who witnesses this little girl do something weird so she kidnaps him and locks him in her cupboard and refuses to let him leave. And yeah, I would recommend it. Down to the bottom shelf of the second bookcase. Up here I have Stepping on Roses Volume 1. You need to get more of this. It's a... I don't know if it's a Shoujo or a Jose, but it's good. And then Zombie Rowan 1 to 2. That's not complete. It's been a while since I got a volume, and honestly, if I don't get a volume of this within the next, like, if I don't have another volume of this by next year when I do this video, I'm probably going to unhaul it. If I still have it next year, tell me off if it hasn't gone up in volumes. Next I have Surf at the End 1. To Surf at the End, Go on Ichino Taker has to be at 16, Light Novels 1 to 4 complete, and Surf at the End, Go on Ichino Say Resurrection at 19, 1 to 2, this is up to date. It's the prequels to Surf at the End, Vampire Rain, which I have 1 to 19, up to date. Love this series, love this universe, it is fantastic. It's getting better as it goes along, there's so many mysteries being added, and I'm like, what the hell's going on with you in this latest volume? And he is what I think is happening, actually what went on, and it's very good. It's a series about vampires and Yuichiro, who was taken as a child after the end of the world. The world ended, everyone above the age of 12 who didn't have, like, demonic powers or a demon in their weapons got killed off. And now all the children are taken by the vampires who took over when the world ended. And you and his friend Mika are trying to escape from the vampires, and Mika dies in the process, and you then joins the Imperial Demon Army to get revenge on the vampires. But there's so much more to it than that. Like the first few, like, the beginning is just like you in school getting ready to fight the vampires, then we have you fighting the vampires, then we have something else that happens, and it just gets very bloody good, and... At this point, it's fantastic, and I just need more because what the hell's going on? So good. And also, the prequels totally add a lot more lore and story, so I would recommend these too. Especially if you're a fan of Gordon. Next up, I have Dead Man Wonderland 1 to 13. Complete, a dark, like, horror series, which I really love. It's about this 
prison, like there's also like a entertainment center called Dead by Wonderland, where prisoners are sent and people can go watch them do these horrible like things, which usually end up getting them killed. And anyway, Ganta is framed for murdering his, his entire class, and he gets sent to Dead by Wonderland, but he is innocent and he's trying to prove that. But he now has to survive inside of this prison where he's trying to learn the truth. Very good. We have Wish up here, complete omnibus. And also Kobito 1 and 2. I need more of this. This is my favourite cramp series. I also have this series like Phantom Thief Janae Volume 1. I've had it a while. Again, if I don't continue that series, I'm going to unhaul it. Hold me to that. And then I have Clover, the complete correct this is omnibus. I read this recently. It wasn't my favourite cramp series, it was kind of strange, but I still enjoyed it. Still like Kobito the best though. Okay. Moving on to the final bookcase. Here we have the final bookcase. I paused the video a minute so I could get a chair. So I could stand on it. Anyway, we have up the top here a few volume ones. Happiness by Shoes Orosimi. Which I need more because I really enjoyed this first volume. And these are going to fall on the floor. And then we have Kikurumi Guardians Volume 1. I really enjoyed this one too. And our Maidens in Your Service Season Volume 1. Again, I really enjoyed this. These are three series I definitely want to continue. I think this one is just cancelled after four volumes. So. And I think this is only ten volumes on. And our Maidens, I think, is like nine. I think this one's still ongoing. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, at the end of the shelf here I have Stargazing Dog, a little short manga by Takashi Murakumi. It's a very, it's very like an emotional manga. It's about this man and his dog are found dead in a car in a field and the police are there and they discover that the man's been dead for over a year and a half but the dog's only been dead for three months and this is the story of how they ended up there told through the eyes of the dog and it's definitely an interesting read but it's an emotional one I would recommend it though I do think there's a sequel called Star Protect the Dog but I don't think it's in English and here's my Junji Ito collection right here we have Tomei, Uzumaki, Gio these are like his long form works but maybe god these are his short stories, like Fragments of Horror, Shiver, Frankenstein Smash, Venus in the Blind Spot. Then we have No Longer Human, which is his adaptation of Osama Dazai's famous novel. And then we have Drifting Classroom. Dissolving Classroom. I only one I haven't got is his Cat Diaries, but there's three new series of it's coming out next year. Right, Love Sickness, Rem Ramona, or whatever it's called, and there's, there's another one just being announced anyway. We love Junji Ito, favourite horror, manga, author, and can't wait for more of his stuff. Like, Uzumaki is definitely one of the best. If you want to start somewhere right, like that's not the most horrific, then maybe go with Venus in the Blind Spot. Or if you want to start with something very good, and Uzumaki. Next I have the complete series of Chibi Vampire, 1-14, to and Airmail, which is short stories. Fantastic series about Karen, who's like a reverse vampire. She creates blood rather than sucks blood, and she has to bite someone once a month, and always she'll have a massive nosebleed. And it's very good. Next, I have Demon Love Spell Volume 1, another one which I will get rid of if I do not continue within a year. I have Comey Can't Communicate Volume 1, I haven't got out of getting more of this yet. And then Mixed Vegetables 1 to 8, which is a shoujo cooking series about a daughter of a pastry chef who wants to be a sushi chef and the son of a sushi chef who wants to be a pastry chef. So they kind of trick each other into like, thinking they like each other so, so they can get close to each other's families and learn more about the other one's like, work and stuff. It's a good, it's a good series. It's only eight volumes long. Give it a go if you end a cooking series. 
Anyway, here's LDK Water 3. With, it stands for Living Dining Kitchen. It's I haven't continued with that one yet. Anyway, I'll just kneel down on the chair a minute. Here I have um, um memories of Eminon wandering Eminon wandering and Eminon wandering too. This is up to date for now. I don't know when we're getting more, but I remember volume one and three, volume two was decent. It's Tab Wake Up Super Beauty Want a Free Up here, which I need to get more of. It's a very good show, just a series about a girl who's possessed by several different ghosts. And this boy who finds out and he has to help her become her own person and stop living through these ghosts. It's very good. I have Tokyo Ghoul 1 to 14 complete. Love Tokyo Ghoul 3, which is not so much. I have 1 to 4. I might get more eventually, but I love the original. Well, in the Grey World, one to seven complete. This is about like she's kind of a witch or like a sorcerer, a mage, that type of thing. But she uses these shoes to make herself appear older. It's a very wacky series. Drifting Classroom by Kazo Umez, one to three complete. Fantastic horror series, which is a, it's one of the classics. I can't find any more of his works, but I would like to read them if I could. For Exorcist 1 to 8, which I haven't read in years. I'll probably get back to it eventually. I've got to get off this chair now. Okay. We're getting closer to the end. But anyway, I have The Earl and the Fairy 1 to 4 complete. This is based off the light novel series, which we will never get in English, sadly. There's an anime of it too. This is School Live 1 and 2. I need to get more of this. Love the anime. It's about a zombie apocalypse. And living through a zombie apocalypse. In the school, like these four girls. Then we have Portis, which is a one shot horror manga about a video game. That was God. Here we have. BL Metamorphosis 1 and 2, which is about a girl who is 17 and a woman in her 80s who bond over BL manga. It's really cute. Then we have Watakoi 1 to 3. Volume 4 has just come out and I really need it. This is a great Jose series. It's about otakus. It's great. Aho Ride 1 to 12. Still just need the final volume of this. I don't like it. Move on! And we have with me, with me not one to three. Oh, no, four's out. I've got four. Um, our house machine gun one to eighteen complete. My favourite sports series. My only sports series. Love the characters in this. The ending was kind of typical, predictable, but I still loved it. It's about airsoft and a girl who has to pretend to be a boy in order to be on this airsoft team. It's very good. Devil's Wine 1 to 7. Like, I need to complete this one as well. There's another one where I watch the anime, and 7's where the anime ends, and I need to get more eventually, but I'm so busy getting other stuff that I haven't got out with. Up here I have How to Train Magical Beasts 1, Giant Spider and Mia Post Off. The Tail Volume 1, The Brave Tube of 1 and 2, which is complete, and Fire and His Fingertips, a 35 and ravishes he me with his smoldering gaze, which is basically porn. I like it. Down here I have Dimension W, 1 to 3, a sci fi series about dimensions and coils. And I still need to know more about this bloody robot girl, but I need to buy more to this eventually. I have Ibisu, which is another horror manga. Very good. It's about this girl who stands like on the street and asks people if they want a little sister. And no matter how they respond to her, yes or no, she ends up following them home and like haunting them. And it's they got it. Moving on, Matsunaga-san, one of four up to date. Great new series that started this year in print. Sweat and Soap, one of three up to date. No, I think William Falls out actually. But this is another great series that started this year. Same with Something's Wrong With Us, Boys 1 and 2 up to date. No, I think Boy 3 is out with this actually. <laughs> My, I, 
don't know who wrote today, but yeah, a, a great jersey that started this year. This is a Jojo, this is a Zaynan. This one's smarty. And it's weird, but it's good. Wait, the house husband wants a free year gag manga about an ex accuser who's now a house husband. I still need to get volume 4, but it's not top priority as it's just a gag manga and I like episodic and episodic manga. I don't tend to like need the next one as much as something that's continuing. 1 to 25 of Kamisawa Kiss Complete plus the extra that came with the limited edition of 25. Supernatural Romance, great series, about an anime who becomes a shrine god and gets this fox from a called Tomoe, and it's just very good. It's a classic shoujo, this one. Check it out. Prince Freya 1 and 2. This is up to date, I think, but it's a good fantasy shoujo for fans of Year of the Dawn. It's slightly darker, though, and not as comedic. They have Beast of Abigail 1 to 4 complete. A series about wolf people called Rugas who are trapped inside the school by the humans and forced to like reside there and work for them. It could have done with being longer, but it's a good series. Right, the next shelf is my Yaoi shelf. If you're not interested in Yaoi, you can skip past this if you want. But also I have Gravitation, which isn't on my Yaoi shelf because it won't fit. So this is Gravitation 1 to 6. This is not complete. I can't find 7 to 12. I have been looking. But it's a very old musical BL series. Although, if I was going to recommend a musical BL series, I'd recommend Given way above this one. Although, Gravitation is a classic. Now to the BL shop. <laughs> I have these little Given plushies on front. You can tell how much I love Given. Anyway, we have this. Is a you are an Istrogen. I have Cherry Magic 1 to 2, this is up to date. I have it's Cherry Magic, 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard. I hear the Sunspot 1, I hear the Sunspot Theory of Happiness, and Rimmick Volume 1 and 2. Great series, one of my favourites. On top of that, I have Kara Papa and Sensitive Pornograph. Here we have our dining table, it's a one shot, very cute, Total Clips of the Eternal Heart, it's a one shot, very messed up, I've given one to three, love given, Toy Tan Birds of a Feather, um, Escape Journey one to three, this is complete, Turn Count one to six, complete, Love Stage one to seven, complete, Jackass, one shot complete. Fourth generation head. Takayuki Oyamata, that's complete. Knights is complete. So is Secret Ex 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 Therapy game. I haven't got one two yet. Very good. Candy Core Paradox, my absolute favourite. That's up to date. False Memories is by the same author, that's complete. Coyote, one or two, that's up to date. Liquor and Cigarettes, that's a one shot. Honey Darling, that's a one shot and Awkward Silence Volume 1 there. At the top here I have Punch Up, Volume 1. Yakuchi and Bitch Club, 1 to 3, it's up to date. Embracing Love, 1 and 2, Omnibus. Cast Heaven, 1 and 2. Crimson Spell, there we have The World's Greatest Birth Love, 1 to 3, and 7 Days, Monday to Sunday, which is complete. And that is all my BL. Except I also have Junction Romantica 1 to 12 down here, but I haven't hauled this yet, so I'm just gonna move it out of the way. Damn it. I'll pick that up in a minute. And this shelf is my right novels. Another, this is what the anime's based off. The Isolator 1 and 2 by the author Sword Art Online. Toradora, I love Toradora, but I haven't read this yet. The Disappearance of Hatsune Miku, which is based off the song. We've got Fantasy and Ash, very good series that I very need to read more of. Boogie Pop Phantom, haven't read it yet. I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, I Had That Same Dream Again, and At Night I Become a Monster, these are all by the same author. This one's the best, I highly recommend that one. I Had That Same Dream Again, great, great story. Re-Zero Volume 1, 
I use romantic comedies as long as I expect it, volume one. Good Hall of Gattery, I haven't read this yet. Your name. Near Ultimatum. Long story short and short story long. Uh, Blood Plus, the novel is based off of the anime. One to four, complete. Ascendance of a Bookworm. And My Next Life as a Villainess, or Roots Read to Doom, light novel, which I have not read yet. And that is it for my collection this year. And the stuff is over the floor now. And I really hope you enjoyed. So there's an overview for you. And now I'm going to have to upload this. So, goodbye from me and bye from me wherever I am. Come somewhere and goodbye. I hope you enjoy.